Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so today's video hopefully will be kind of fun. It's just kind of like a impromptu video that I decided to do because I kind of have been really enjoying combining palettes. And you guys, if you you know are familiar with my channel, you know I do my shop my stashes and things and I pick out palettes to use for, you know, typically the month. Now it's for two weeks. But I pick out a certain amount of palettes to use and there are certain palettes that when I look through, you know, my palette collection, I just never reach for. I might pull it, open it, look at it, and like, no. And I always ask myself, like, why do I not want to use that palette? And I'm finding more and more that the reason is because it kind of feels like an incomplete palette to me. I am one who really, really loves to just pull one palette, be able to use that one palette for an eye look, and go on about my business. But lately, I've really been having a lot of fun using multiple palettes, or at least two palettes, I'll say, because I feel like it gives me a little bit more options for creativity and things like that. So anywho, I decided to go ahead and pull some of the palettes that I never reach for that are gorgeous palettes, but I feel like they would be a little bit more exciting if I combine them with another palette out of my collection. So I'm kind of calling this a little palette mashup type <laughs> video. Um, and I thought some of you guys might enjoy this or might have some fun doing the same thing in your own palette collection. Maybe you have some palettes that you never reach for and you really are like, Ah, it's a little too boring, uh, you know, and so maybe you can start kind of coupling those palettes with other palettes and then create you one palette that you actually want to use. So anywho, the palettes that I have here in front of me are the palettes that kind of really started me thinking this today to do this video. Um, that's a long intro. Sorry, you guys, <laughs> but... I did a look using these two palettes on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. This is the Give Me Glow Vivid Rose. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And this is the Japan Volume 1 palette from E Unique Beauty, okay? This palette is absolutely gorgeous. Now, these two palettes definitely can be standalone palettes. Honestly, if you wanna do kinda like a red and pinky look with some gorgeous shimmers, you can use this. And if you want to do a pinky purple look, you can definitely use this. But for some reason, although I was dying to use this palette from E Unique Beauty, I really wanted a deeper shade in here. I love the red, it's gorgeous, but I wanted a deeper shade. So I took a look at this palette from Give Me Glow, and of course it has these beautiful deep dark plums and purples in here to go along with the pinks. And when I combined these palettes together, oh my goodness, it was so seamless and easy. I had so much fun. I love the look I created. The fact that I was able to deepen up my corner using this palette with this one, I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to just start out with the two palettes that kind of started this whole <laughs> video um, idea for me and just, you know, kind of let you take a look at these. But these are absolutely gorgeous. So, so beautiful if you want to see that look definitely check out my instagram it's colorful camille or you can wait for my shop my stash because i always show my looks in there so let's go ahead and move on to the next palette mashup okay so this next palette mashup is this um gosh i'm not that familiar with this brand it's so sue and this one is a time cle makeup the palette is called azure allure <laughs> i got this from beauty bay and look at this color story isn't it gorgeous basic beautiful jewel tone color story i mean of course yes i can create a beautiful deep purple blue green look with this not a problem but i feel like the reason why i never reach for it is because in part it is so deep so i decided to go ahead and mash it up with my nomad this is their studio 54 multi-chrome disco shadow palette <laughs> okay isn't it gorgeous man i got this palette and i've had it for quite a while as you can see they are all beautiful multi-chrome shimmers and you guys know i love multi-chromes but i never reach for this palette because 
typically with these type of shades, unless I have them like right next to me, I always forget to use them or unless they're part of my singles. So these are so gorgeous. And I felt like these two palettes together would be amazing <laughs> okay i really do i think these would go so well together so yeah i definitely want to pair these two together because they're beautiful okay so this next matchup might be you know a little unexpected this is the give me glow sweet and sticky palette okay came out you know not too long ago and i bought this palette and <laughs> honestly never touched it never swatched it never think about it it might not be that surprising to you guys because you guys know I don't really go for like neutral tones browns and stuff like that but this palette these shimmers oh you guys absolutely gorgeous and that's why I bought it in the first place because I'm like that's a gorgeous palette now, I decided that I wanted to mash it up with this ColourPop Make It Fearless palette because this palette has like some beautiful pops of color in it. Absolutely gorgeous as well as a beautiful bronzy toned shimmer. But I felt like, you know what? This would really add a nice bit of color and variety to this, you know, sweet and sticky palette from Give Me Glow and just give me a little bit more fun and pizzazz to play with. So you guys let me know, what do you think? But I think these two are really, really pretty together. Okay, so this next mashup here is really one where I felt like, okay, I needed a little bit more of what was already going on in this ColourPop Limoncello palette, okay? This palette is so cute to me. I love the blues and yellows, you know, so gorgeous. And this palette is actually a very, very pretty palette. And as you can see, not even touched by me <laughs> because every time I open it, I look at it and I, of course I look at that pop of blue. I'm like, oh, that's so pretty, so gorgeous. But the rest of the palette, it's just a little bit blase for me. But, you know, basically I can just do a neutral crease and a pop of blue. That's what I see. Now this shade here is really pretty as well. That little pop of green. But I need a little more excitement with this palette. So yeah, let's just take a look at this palette here. This is one of my little status quo palettes. This is from E Unique Beauty as well. Um, I purchased this quite a while ago. They had these on sale. I mean, amazing, amazing deal. I don't even know if they have these anymore. But it's just a gorgeous blue color story. And there's this beautiful blue shimmer, this light blue, this blue glitter has this little pretty peachy tone, and then a really, really deep blue satin, which you can use in the crease as well. You guys know I like to mix it up. But I felt like this palette combined with the Limoncello would really add a little extra pizzazz and give me a little bit more of that blue that I'm looking for in this palette. So yeah, I love these two together and I might end up actually playing with these two combined. Okay, so let's take a look at our next mash up palette combo. Okay, so this is the Pastels Mint palette from Huda Beauty. I believe I got this one in a boxy charm. I Either I got this one in my box and I bought the lavender one, or I got the lavender one and I bought this one. <laughs> Either way, I wanted to have both of them. And so, you know, I got the mint one and the lavender one. So this is what this palette looks like. This palette is actually really, really pretty. Very gorgeous. But for someone like me, I'm kind of looking for a little bit more depth. Yeah, I can do a uh, pretty eye look with this you know using this as like the main and going in with some pretty shimmers but nine times out of ten I wouldn't reach for it because it's so light but if I go ahead and do a mashup with this palette from Huda Beauty along with this ColourPop palette this one is the rumor has it gorgeous beautiful blue and teal tones in here oh this palette is so pretty, you guys, and it absolutely has the depth that I'm looking for. So this palette, I 
honestly, of course, could use as a standalone because it has a nice range of shades for me to use. But if I wanna go ahead and use this palette as well, it would give me even more variety, more fun, more options with all of those beautiful shimmers in there. And you guys know I love options, so I think this will be a great mashup right here. Okay, so this next mashup has me super duper excited, <laughs> okay? Let me start out with this palette here. I bought these cute little Revlon palettes. What are these called? Um, Gosh, I can't even see that. Oh, so fierce. I bought these cute little four pan shimmer Revlon palettes, which I very rarely pick up like drugstore brand palettes anymore, but these just looked so, so pretty to me. So I have a few of these. I think I might have bought like all three or all four of them, but this one, super duper gorgeous. And what is this called? Clap back. Okay, so I have this clap back palette, right? but it's all shimmer. Now, I also have this NYX Ultimate Palette. This one is, I think they have different names, right? Ash. So this one is the NYX Ultimate Ash Palette. Now, look at this color story. Let me see if I can get the ring light out of there, okay. Look at this color story, you guys. It's a gorgeous color story, right? basically mattes. I think there's like a few shimmers in here, but I'm really drawn to those gorgeous, deep, smoky tone mattes. Okay, now look at this. Look at this. If I combine these two palettes together with those beautiful mattes and smoky tones and then these gorgeous shimmers, I think this will make an excellent mashup for um, an eye look. So yeah, it's really pretty. And definitely if I use these palettes, I'm gonna use them together <laughs> for sure. Okay, so these next two palettes for this mashup are a little bit larger. So this first palette here is the Pinky Rose Exotic Peacock. One of my absolute favorite color stories. It has these gorgeous, beautiful jewel tones in here. Now this palette, oh my goodness, this color story, it just speaks to me, it sings to me, absolutely gorgeous. But it is a very bold, rich, deep color story. And this might not work for everybody. This might be a bit much for a lot of people. So what I was thinking was this rich, deep color story would probably be a good matchup for this Dominique Cosmetics palette. Now this one is the Rustic Glam gorgeous packaging here as you can see but this palette while it does have like some of the same type colors same type feels in it it has a more muted and a more kind of light just pastel -y feel to it at least the shades you know on the top row that add that aspect of color on the bottom row you have some neutrals to play with which you don't really have in the exotic peacock and then you also have some really pretty shimmers in here as well in the dominique cosmetics i'll let you see that a little bit closer but yeah i feel like for this palette i really don't reach for it just because it is so muted even though it's really pretty but if i combine it with this one as much as i love color I think these two palettes would be fun to play with. So I thought that was a nice mashup. Okay. Now this next mashup here, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I think it's definitely going to be a beautiful color story or combined color story, but I don't know if these two would, being paired together would actually make me use them more. <laughs> so the jury's still out. This is the Spiced Latte Palette from Ruby May. I grabbed these, I think, maybe two holiday um, releases ago. I don't remember, but they came out with this one and then another one um, that has like the blue and white packaging. Both palettes, absolutely gorgeous. But in a very pretty color story as well. Very warm, very fall, very, you know, holiday-esque. Absolutely gorgeous. But I don't know why I don't reach for this palette. And 
I'm thinking that it might be because I want a little more depth. I don't know, you guys. Maybe it's just not colorful enough. But I grabbed this um, Makeup Addiction. Is this the, yeah, this is the Sinful Eyes palette. Now, I love, love, love the look of this palette. I love this color story. I love the idea of this palette. What's frustrating about this palette is the fact that some of these shimmers, quite a few <laughs> of the shimmers in here, are not full on shimmers. They're more like topper type shades. And so I think that has a lot to do with why I don't really reach for this palette. Even though this black is absolutely phenomenal, this purple is gorgeous, this kind of blue green duochrome is gorgeous, this yellow gold. I don't know why I don't reach for this. So what I was thinking was that maybe if I combine these two together and kind of play it around with some of the beautiful deeper shimmers in here, along with these toppers, I have this black, you know, I have the lighter army green, the deeper forest green. It just gives me more range if I use these two together. What do you guys think? Hmm, I don't know, but they're both absolutely gorgeous, but I never reach for them. So I'm gonna try and mash them up and see if I like them better <laughs> combined. Okay, so this next mashup is another one using one of my Revlon So Fierce palettes. This one is called the Big Bang. And this one has kind of like the orange and pink and gold. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. They're so freaking pretty. So, so pretty. But, you know, once again, I'm never going to reach for this unless I figure out another palette with mattes to combine it with. So, I pulled this Indica palette. It's by Flaunt Beauty. Um, This I actually got in like one of those like mystery bags or, or boxes or something where, you know, you get a whole bunch of different mystery items and stuff. I don't remember, dang, who did I buy that from? I don't remember you guys, sorry, it was a while ago. But this is that palette and so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the colors in here. You got your purple, you got your peachy tones, and then you got your, you know, kind of aqua blue or sea blue. So freaking pretty. But this is not a palette that I would just pick up and do a look with. I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, it's not like I need more than six shades to create a look. But I just would not grab this for a look. Not these three or six colors, you know? But I felt like these two palettes mashed up would be a good combination. So... Um, you guys let me know what you think. I mean, the shimmers and the mattes would definitely combine beautifully together. It's not like I need shimmers for this because I already have two shimmers in here, this purple and this blue down here. But I don't know. I'm just thinking I'm more apt to kind of go in with the purple diffuse it with one of these peachy shades and then go on my lid with like you know lighter purple or lighter gold shade you know i don't know that's just what i'm thinking so the jury's still out on this one but i do think that these two would pair well together okay so listen these next two palettes do not need any assistance <laughs> they are definitely beautiful standalone palettes um, I don't know why I don't use them more. I really don't. Um, I actually pulled this one for my Shop My Stash, the Juvia's Tribe. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is like one of my most favorite palette color stories of all time. It is so beautiful, so bold, so regal. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, who doesn't love orange and green together, right? It's so pretty, but... I never reach for it. Now this, you know, like I said, it's part of my shop mustache, so I'm definitely going to be using this to create a look. But when I was doing these mashups, I felt like this palette 
paired with Juvia's Nomad is actually a really good pairing um, just to give you a few more options when creating a look with you know either of these palettes so listen let me just hold these side by side I think I can hold both of these okay so these are the two palettes side by side the Nomad and the Tribe and I feel like this is one hell of a palette <laughs> combined together. Are you kidding me? It's just so gorgeous and you have so many more options as far as looks that you could do. And I feel like someone who might be a little bit intimidated by all the bright oranges and greens in the tribe might really love just combining it with the um, Nomad because this is such a gorgeous combination to me. It's so pretty and I love it, love it, love it. So my next go around, I might actually combine these two palettes together and see what I can come up with. Okay, I just have a couple more, you guys. So this palette here, I oftentimes forget that I even have it. This is the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Palette and I purchased this, I believe, when it went on sale during the holidays or something like that. And of course, you know why it's gorgeous, colorful, beautiful, but I've never even used it. So I don't know if this palette is good or horrible. I have no idea because I've never used it, but it's so pretty. The color story is gorgeous. So I'm like, okay, it's a pretty bold, deep color story. You know, it's not too much to kind of lighten up or soften up or you know, give you a lot of options with shimmers and stuff like that. It's just, it's really pretty. But I was wondering if I combine this with a palette that's colorful, but a little bit more muted, if I would like it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this palette. This is the Girl Meets Makeup. <laughs> I haven't used these palettes. I think I have about three or four of these and have not used these. I think I've only used two of them to be honest with you but she has some of the most gorgeous beautiful color stories okay so so pretty like this is gorgeous this one is cosmos okay cosmos and I love this color story it's beautiful and I don't know it's a lot of shimmers in here but there's this matte purple and this matte pink and this matte like you know teal type blue but everything else is shimmers so this might be a little tricky for someone to really get off into if you're not really into a lot of color but for me of course you guys know I love this but honestly I feel like if I combine these two palettes together that I would love this I would love it because I have all of these really gorgeous, rich, dark, you know, mattes. And I think some of these might be satins, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, kind of like satin type shades. But I have all of these rich, dark colors to go along with these. Yeah, some more muted shades in here. I think this would be a nice combination. You got this bold yellow, this pretty gold. You got these, these two pinks are very similar, but you have this beautiful lime green, this kind of like, you know, deeper shimmer green, um, these purples in here. I think in, in combined with, you know, these purples down here. So yeah, I definitely can see myself creating a really pretty look using these two palettes together. So I think that's a good mashup, I do. Okay, I only have one more, you guys. So this one here is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde, okay? I love, love, love the shimmers in this palette. I mean, I actually really love the color story for this palette. It's actually quite gorgeous, but it's definitely a little light for me. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really offer me the variety in depth that I would like from a palette but these shimmers oh my goodness I'm dying to use this palette again so I can really enjoy the shimmers but for some reason I look at it and I just put it back down I don't <laughs> I don't use it so I was like okay now what colors would I really 
like to combine with the retrograde palette and I found my LA girl main stage this is the desert dream um is this because sometimes they have different names but yeah I think this one is just oh backstage yeah it's <laughs> so weird they have like two names desert dream backstage but I opened this palette up and I was like okay that's it that that's it right there <laughs> this is the palette that I would love to combine with the mercury retrograde now let me see if I can just show you these two palettes uh, combined without blinding you okay so this is what these two palettes look like combined um, as one palette okay absolutely freaking gorgeous okay I mean you couldn't ask for any more depth you couldn't ask for any more bold beautiful colors and shades to go along with the shimmers and the retrograde and the shimmers in the LA girl are absolutely gorgeous as well so this is a mashup that I'm actually going to do these two palettes right here I think will go beautifully together the LA girl has the blues the greens it also has like the pretty purple kind of lilac type shades in there to go along. it's just a really good mashup so yeah you guys let me know would you pair these two palettes together because I definitely would they're so so gorgeous okay you guys so listen those are all of my palette mashup pairings that I wanted to share with you guys like I said I thought it would just be a cute fun little video to do maybe you guys are having the same issue as me if you have a large palette collection and there's just certain palettes that don't speak to you try and mash them up you know with another palette with a similar color story or even a completely different color story you know mix it up so that's it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles talk to me nice